Welcome to the Midweek Reflection from the FCJ Christian Life Center in Calgary. So as we continue our Advent journey, I'm going to continue reflecting on the Beatitudes. And today's Beatitude is, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the land. And it's a perfect one to share for this week. Why do I say it's perfect? Because we're getting closer to the birth of Jesus. And I think Jesus is an excellent model of living as a meek person. You know, so often meekness is so misunderstood. So many people that think meekness means letting people walk over you, just being powerless, not speaking up, not at all. Let's look at Jesus. You know what Jesus said to us? He said, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart or some translations say, gentle and humble of heart. So meekness must be possible for us, and it must be a good quality. If Jesus is saying, learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. And we know that Jesus wasn't somebody who didn't stand up for what is right. He spoke his words. So meekness is, is good. It's a good quality for us. You can look at the definitions in dictionaries and you'll get different definitions. But from our understanding of it, looking at Jesus, it's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful quality for us to have. We realize that we don't have everything on our own. We need God so we can be humble. And you know, the one story that I read when I was looking up about meekness was about Moses and Aaron. Um, Moses and Lot and um, they were arguing over land and Moses was a strong person but he was meek and he just said to Lot look it this land is all before us you take the half you want and I'll take the other half he had something within him that was strong enough that he could let go of the land and act with integrity. He still would have land, but he let his brother choose. He acted with integrity and honesty. And those are two words that we need to remember if we want to live as meek persons. So let's go back to looking at Jesus. It seems to me if we look at him and say, okay, I want to be meek like Jesus was meek, then we're called to cultivate the virtues of gentleness, integrity, and self-control. We're called to be gentle with people and with things. We don't live just to get our way by using bullying tactics or violence. Rather, we strive to be attentive to what is God's will? What is God asking of us? And once we know God's will, then we strive to do it with integrity, with peacefulness, and with honesty. Wasn't this what Jesus did? Jesus was centered on the will of the Father. And that's what we want to be, centered on the will of God. And meekness calls us to act in love. Jesus certainly was not passive. He really acted and acted strongly and with conviction. As I mentioned before, Jesus certainly wasn't passive. He acted, he acted with strength. He acted with integrity and he spoke the truth. And he reminded people, and we are to be reminded about the care of the earth and the care of one another. Jesus advocated for the rights of the poor and the downtrodden, and he spoke without fear. So being meek doesn't mean you're wishy-washy. No, you're strong and you're strong in your conviction, but you carry it out with gentleness and with a peaceful intent all the time. And if we live like that, truly we will inherit the land, the land being the kingdom of God, that everlasting reward that Jesus has prepared for us. So. Maybe as we approach Christmas, we could spend just a little bit of time thinking about Jesus, meek and humble of heart, and how he's calling us to be meek and humble of heart. And before I finish today, because this is our last midweek reflection before Christmas, on behalf of the Sisters Faithful Companions of Jesus and the administration and staff of the FCJ Christian Life Center in Calgary, I wish you a very happy peaceful Christmas, and a joy-filled, healthy New Year. God bless you all, and I hope we see you in the New Year as we'll continue the midweek reflections then. God bless you.